Hi, Good and Kind people. Lisa Gale here today, and I have a very, very <laughs> special guest. This Hi. is my great grandniece, Minerva. Minerva. <laughs> Yay! Hi, I'm Minerva. <laughs> and you want to tell them anything about yourself, Minerva? Well, I have two siblings. Their names are Florence and Felix. And they're they're fresh babies, aren't they? They're yeah. just a few months old. And Out of the oven. <laughs> Yep, and our family feels very blessed. Yep. We're very, very happy. Yep, we're very, very happy. But today we're talking about cooking. Minerva's going to be in second grade in person learning. In a tribute to her starting school, we're going to make some Chicago public school cookies. cookies. Yay! They look <laughs> yummy. They are yummy. I've made this recipe before just to try it out, and they're so simple, but so tasty. Hi, and we're back to mix our ingredients. We have one stick of butter in. We're gonna put the other stick in. Yep. Just mm. like this. Mm. And what's that word that we used when um, we wanna stir the butter up really nice? Cream it and be cooked. But... Yeah, we wanna we wanna cream it. We practiced this earlier. We did. Go ahead and flip it for us. Oh wait, stop. Aunt Lisa forgot to do her part. What? Lift the bowl up. Okay, now turn it on. There we go. That's good. We'll just leave it there for a little bit. <laughs> I can't bend it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. So go ahead and turn it off, I think. Whoa. Looks nice and creamy, doesn't it, Minerva? Yep. And the other thing we're going to cream together with that butter is... Um, sugar. Sugar. So go ahead and pour the sugar in. Oh. All of it. <laughs> Let's just do it. Uh, and there we go. There we go. Okay, we're gonna lift it back up. Yep. And now your job, turn it back on. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the right. Oh, it. <laughs> so we're gonna take off and flip it down a little higher there. We'll really get it going. There we go. <laughs> oh. I think that's creamy enough? Yeah. All right, let's turn it off. And now we're gonna add? Flour. Flour, and this one we're gonna add kind of slow, so. Yep, we'll dump a little bit on it at That's a lot of flour. Uh, maybe so, right? Okay, do your part. That's good, oh, that's perfect right there. Whoa, it's like flying at like. Yeah, and see that's getting pretty nicely incorporated in there, so go ahead and turn it off. Lower it. Whoa. Tap our final flour out. Okay, we're done with that. And I think we'll go ahead and add our last two ingredients. That's right. The yeah. last two ingredients. Not very much at all. She's been telling me that some of her other foods are like really short to make. <laughs> yeah, this is one of those quick and easy ones, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna add our two teaspoons of Vanilla. Vanilla. Go ahead and do the honors, would you, ma'am? Vanilla. Fantastic. Oh, and go ahead and do your part. Pinch of salt. Show them how much. A uh, that's it. Okay, let's show them how it's done. Now. Mm. That's it. A pinch of salt. Yay. High five. We got it. And we're just going to put all of our empties over here. Oh, God bless you. Would you like a tissue? And don't worry. Before we roll these cookies into balls, Miss Thing over here is going to go wash her. Hey. Yes, ma'am. My I'll part again. <laughs> She'll be right back. Ooh, too fast. There we go. I just want to push this down on the sides a little bit. Just in case we need it again later. And that's looking pretty Whoa. good. We don't really want to over mix it too much, so I think that's about right. You're back just in time, Minerva. I'm gonna undo the paddle. Can I lick it? <laughs> <laughs> we gotta get the cookie dough off. We'll talk about the looking the better later. Yeah. All right. We're gonna be right back after we get this dough off and show you how to form the cookies. And we're back. Our cookies buzzer just went off. They cooked for 10 minutes. Yeah. And we made a mistake. 
didn't we? Well, we didn't really make a mistake. We followed the recipe. Yes. The, the, the way it was supposed to. But what happened is they did this when we took them out of the oven. They flattened out. I did say to you off camera, this batter is a little loose compared to how I made it last time. To fix it, we added some flour to stiffen the batter up a little bit. The first time when I was trying it, I decreased the butter to one stick and plus only one half. So I should make my own YouTube channel because two times my mom and me made homemade donuts. Oh, wow. Annalise has tried that before and that is a challenge to make homemade donuts. So I'm going to show these cookies because after we added two tablespoons of flour to the remaining dough, they turned out really nice. And this is really what they should have looked like. In their original recipe, it does say two cups plus two tablespoons. This is hot outside. It was cold when I made the first one. In the hot weather, butter doesn't hold up as well. But look, these are perfect here. They kind of hold their shape. And Minerva, yeah. are you happy with these? I'm nice. Yeah, I, I think these look really super good. Even if they're messed up. They do look a whole lot better than this little flat in the pancake of a cookie, doesn't it? Yeah. This is actually more what they should have looked like. They smell wonderful. And Minerva, Yes. I want to thank you for coming today. You're welcome. And I can't wait to get your cousin Josie next time yeah. for cooking with Aunt Lisa, right? Mm -hmm. Thank so, you for watching. Thank you for watching and join us again for cooking with Lisa Gale. Bye! <laughs>